All right, today is February 18, 2013. The market is closed in observance of uh, President Day, so there will be no trading today. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, do a video on Apple. Uh, I haven't done a video on Apple for quite a while, and I uh, thought I might do that just to uh, give a little update uh, on my analysis of Apple and where I think that uh, the price action is telling me where Apple might be heading in the near term. Uh, on the screen right now, I got the... Uh, you know, daily uh, price chart here and you can see that the uh, 200 day moving average has uh, uh, rolled over and is declining with a pretty steep uh, 50 day moving average you know this green line here is declining and then the uh, 20 EMA right, so uh, let's go over and switch it over to the uh, weekly and let me take out the, uh, the uh, moving average here and just remind ourselves some of the trend line here uh, you know, there is this uh, long-term trend line uh, that started back in uh, March 2009, and recently we booked through that. Uh, you know, it booked through that trend line here, and then the other uh, 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 trend line was this baseline here that we're looking at uh, a while back. In this, uh, you know, uh, 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 basically the head and shoulder uh, formation here on this pattern. And uh, so those are the major uh, line, uh, trend lines that uh, we kind of have been monitoring on Apple. And let me take that out and let's switch it over to instead of a, a weekly uh, candle, let's do a weekly uh, close. And if you can see the uh, 705 high here and here's a low. And I just want to point out the series of lower low, lower high. Right? Okay, so right now on this weekly basis, we're still seeing a uh, you know lower high and lower low, right? a series of that. And unless the uh, the price uh, reverse in the coming week to uh, you know uh, build this higher high pattern and higher low, uh, until it does that, we essentially still consider this as a uh, downtrend with a lower low, lower high. And if the coming week will do this, it just reaffirm that lower low, you know, lower high type of uh, pattern. Okay, because I just want to highlight that because a lot of people are uh, thinking that uh, on the uh, on the daily. Let me put back on the daily uh, candlestick here. You know, on this daily uh, price uh, chart here, that uh, a lot of people is uh, thinking that uh, uh, Apple is putting in a series of you know, higher high, higher low. You know, if if, if this price is going to go up and you know come up like this, then you know this would be a higher low. So in that sense, you know, a lot of people are thinking that uh, Apple might be uh, reversing, and it could be. You know, uh, time will tell. Right? But for now, if you're looking at that weekly and that price level is still uh trending in that uh, uh downward trend of that series of uh lower low lower high okay so we have to uh give that the benefit of the doubt okay so uh going back and take a look at this gap here we have this gap that's waiting to be filled okay so and uh, this gap uh is at what level is at uh 425 Okay, this particular high here is a 425.10, and the low on this day is 443.73. So it is about 444. So let's say 425, 444. Let's call that the gap. Okay, All right. So that's the gap that we need to fill. All right. And if I use the uh, Fibonacci retracement tool here, just to get some idea what some of these. Uh, uh, FIP level, retracement level, we're going to look uh, uh, pointing the price to. And if I use this uh, pivot point here, you know, this swing point, and at this 505 essentially, okay, and it came back up and tried to retrace and come back to that 50% point, it failed to uh, retrace that, came back down, you know, chopped it around a little bit and it found it broke to the uh, 505, 504 support level here. And it came down to this 127, and right now it's getting a little bounce. If you notice that 141 extension is 421, which is pretty much in within line within that zone of that 425, 443, 444, right? That 425, 443 uh, price gap here, right? 
So if we say let's uh, use this as a pivot, this 483, okay, instead of using the 505 because that might uh, give us a little cleaner break, right? And that will give us an extension of uh, 127 sitting at 424. So again, it's within that zone of the uh, 425, right? 440, uh, 444 uh, gap, uh, uh, price gap here, okay? So based on the Fibonacci retracement uh, level, uh, that seems to be pointing a possibility for the price to come down and fill this gap. And also we know the price been hovering around near this gap level. And a lot of time the gap act like a magnet when the price get near there and it will pull the price to fill that gap. So with all these, uh, you know, uh, FIB level and the vicinity of the price nearing this gap, uh, certainly the possibility or the probability for this gap to fill is pretty high. And that's basically what I'm looking at in the coming week is for this gap to get filled. Now when it gets filled, will it bounce off from the gap or fill or will it continue to uh, you know, uh, 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 go further down? You know, and, and that we just have to wait and see. For now, it's basically modern that. And you know, it, it could reverse and not to come down and fill this gap. And the only way that I will go long uh, or have a, a, a good uh, you know, possibility of going long here is when the price breaks back above the uh, 505 level. Then it will give me a, some kind of confirmation of forming this uh, higher high, higher low okay, on the weekly basis as well. So until it uh, you know, get back above the 505, right now the tendency is uh, I will uh, you know, have a uh, more of a short bias on Apple than, uh, than leaning on the long side. So definitely I don't have a position on Apple right now, but if I uh, uh, do decide to take a position on Apple, that will be most likely on the, uh, the short uh, bias unless again, you know, if the price come back up and uh, break above this 505 level then uh, we'll reassess and see uh, you know what the price action tell me uh, ready to uh, you know take a uh, start looking at the possibility of a long position or it's just basically a, another head fake. So for now definitely uh, I'm looking for this uh, price gap price gap to be filled and uh, and, and most likely uh, it probably will with all these uh, felt net Fibonacci retracement level kind of pointing toward that direction. So uh, good luck to you on the uh, coming week in your trading.